Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a sniff review and um, a small comparison of the Autumn Mums candle right here. So a little bit of a history lesson on this scent. So it originally was released in fall of 2014 in the um, fresh picked collection that you see here on the label. So it was alongside many others. Um, I think, what was it, Heirloom Pumpkin? Eucalyptus mint, lemon mint leaf, you know, candles like that. And so then what happened was summer 2016, so last summer, just a year ago, they brought back this collection for the semi-annual sale with just this, um, the clear lid. So that's the only thing they did. They re-poured this whole entire collection, but, um... They released it in summer 2016. So, they didn't do that this year, but, um, last year they brought this collection back. So, this is when this candle was purchased. Um, I will show you the, the scent description on it. So, right here it says, A floral blend of mum petals, amber, and a, and a hint of sandalwood. So, if you look at the little batch date here, it says 6132. So, this was indeed poured last summer, the 132nd day of 2016. So, when you smell this candle, you get a, like, intense blast of, like, a pear or an apple. Or kind of like a fruity note. So, basically, m like, first, like, when you initially smell it, you get, like, a blast of, it's just, like, a very, like, super syrupy, sweet, intense apple, sort of like pear, whatever you want to call it, and then you also get like a light sort of kind of like, I don't know, I feel like they use the the note freesia a lot, like this is what it kind of smells like. So that's like a light, like it's not a very, dis like, um, it's not a very like, oh, straight up floral, but it's kind of just like a generic floral that you could really find in any candle. And then you also get like a like a weird sort of, it's hard to explain, but like, call it sandalwood, call it amber, call it earthy, call it, you know, um, grassy, maybe, I don't know. You kind of get that like, um, sophisticated, like almost like a body hair kind of smell out of this. And the candle that comes to mind when I smell this scent is indeed the first bloom candle. And so it came out quite a while ago, 2013 as First Bloom. Then it came back 2014 as Bloom. They took out the first. And then it also came back in 2015 as the Mother's Day candle, back again as First Bloom. And so that is pretty much what I get from this candle. It's almost a dead on repackage. I don't have that candle with me because I gave it away to a friend. But um, from what I remember, it's exactly the same scent. So... I am pretty sure that this scent is just a repackage of First Bloom. Let me smell it again. I'll just smell the lid this time. Yeah. It's mainly like a fruity kind of scent. Like, floral is definitely in there, but it's kind of like secondary. It's mainly a floral scent. So, yeah. Um, here's the... I'll give you a close-up on the packaging. The label is kind of like this, um, diamond almost kind of shape. And then, just purple wax, obviously. 3 wick, 14.5 ounce, if I didn't mention that already. So, very cute packaging. I love this candle, like, the just design and stuff of it. So, there's also one other candle that comes to mind that I want to talk about. And that this scent reminds me of. And that is, indeed, Hawaiian Hibiscus. So, this is what this candle looks like. The description is... Experience an island getaway with the fragrant hibiscus Hawaii's native flower combined with creamy coconut and jasmine notes. So that, did I say jasmine earlier? I'm pretty sure I mentioned jasmine or maybe it was, I'm pretty sure I said that the floral kind of smelled like jasmine in other candles in the sense that it's just a kind of like a sweet airy floral if that makes any sense. Like it's not really, you smell it and you're like, oh my gosh, that's rose or anything like that. You know, it's just kind of like a nondescript floral. So I think that a lot of the times they put this um, kind of nondescript floral in candles, they call it jasmine. And it's the exact same floral that you get in Hawaiian, oops, hit that, um, Hawaiian hibiscus. So 
Hawaiian hibiscus also has like a fruitiness to it, but I wouldn't say it's sort of, it's like, you could know what it is. It's almost just like a generic fruitiness, like kind of like a berry. But um, Autumn Mums is definitely pear slash apple. Pear and apple is very interchangeable with Bath and Body Works if you haven't noticed already. So, yeah. I mean, they're different, diff different, they're different scents, but definitely share some similarities. Um, yes, so, um, I've heard a lot of reports that Autumn Mums is a very light thrower. Um, it smells pretty strong to me on cold sniff, like it's not, you know, it's not like a light scent or anything, but, um, yeah, a lot of people say that it is indeed kind of like hard to detect on when you're burning it and it has like a low throw. I can't say that I'm ever going to burn this candle though because it's just so perfect. Like, I don't, I just must have got lucky because like the wax and everything is completely flawless and like the wicks and everything. Like this candle is like the most perfect thing I've ever looked at. So, like do you all ever notice that? I always notice when candles are like imperfect. Like, if you look at this Hawaiian hibiscus, there's like a huge like explosion of like wax separation here. A lot of candles have it, like, it's just so annoying to me. I'm trying to find another example of it, like, here in autumn, like this here. I don't know why candles do that, but it's so annoying. So, I am pretty much done with this review. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I will see you in tomorrow. Yes, another thing that I keep forgetting to mention in every video is that I am indeed uploading daily. I just make videos every day and upload them every night. So, yeah, I just thought I would mention that. So, I hope to see you tomorrow in my next video. And, yeah, bye.